Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and welcome back to episode number five of the uh, 1969 Piper Aero restoration project. Uh, as you recall in the last episode, uh, we had the aircraft at Muncie Aviation, uh, finishing up the radio install at that time. Uh, we've since uh, gotten the aircraft back here to the shop. Everything is completed, and we have it back here now for uh, uh, finalizing the restoration. Uh, Sydney, what do you think of this uh, panel so far here? Very neat. <laughs> yes, yeah, they did an uh, outstanding job on this yeah. uh, uh, install here for the radio project. So we've brought the aircraft back here to the shop now, and uh, we're in the final stages of the uh, aircraft restoration. But uh, Sydney, with this uh, new panel here we have, um, we've uh, totally updated it, and it's just like a brand new aircraft, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> better than new. Better than new, exactly. We have a uh, Garmin 750 in the panel here, and of course you're uh, used to flying with a Garmin 650 in the uh, Cessna 150 project. So uh, the operating systems will be the same on the uh, 750 as the 650, so it should be pretty easy to transition uh, back and forth between the two aircraft. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Sydney, here we are Thanksgiving 2016, uh, day before Thanksgiving, and so we've had the aircraft uh, in-house here just a little over a year. And so here we are with the aircraft flying, the panel done, and uh, we'll be coming down the home stretches. We'll highlight a couple of those uh, items here shortly. So Sydney, let's go ahead and uh, check out the uh, completed panel and uh, maybe go over some of the highlights here and different things uh, and features that you like on this particular panel installation. All right. So moving inside the aircraft, uh, getting some shots of the uh, overall panel installation there, uh, the completed panel installation. Uh, of course, the highlight of the panel is the uh, Garmin GTN 750. And uh, Sydney, you can see we have the GTN 750. We also have the uh, JPI 930 engine analyzer as well. And they're coupled together uh, showing fuel flow, fuel used through a trip, fuel remaining at a destination, things like that. Uh, you can see we've gone with the complete metal panel in there. Uh, all the uh, rocker switches now are just like the brand new production pipers. Uh, we have no key for ignition, it's all push button uh, start. Uh, you can see we have uh, late modeled yokes like they're putting on the uh, new production uh, pipers as well. And then uh, also with the, uh, the new uh, eyebrow over the instrument panel, we have LED lighting in there as well. So Sydney, go ahead and turn that lighting up on the eyebrow lighting there as well. We have floods that uh, flood the whole panel. Uh, and then also the rocker switches, those are lit as well. And you can see those turn up and down. And then we also have uh, LED uh, lighting for uh, uh, the gear indicators. We also uh, had a light installed uh, for any time that the hydraulic pump is in operation, a light comes on just to uh, let us know uh, if the uh, pump is running, so that if we, uh, for any reason, have a, uh, a gear that is leaking and the pump is running intermittently, uh, we'll have a light that uh, alerts us to that uh, problem. Uh, we put all new uh, control cables in, throttle, prop, mixture, those are all brand new cables in there as well. We have new fuel uh, transmitter senders in the wings uh, to go with the JPI setup as well, uh, EGT, cylinder head temperature, uh, we also have a uh, s -Tech 55 autopilot uh, coupled as well uh, to the radios. Uh, that has alti altitude hold and then it's coupled for approaches as well. Uh, in the uh, GTN 750, uh, we also have the uh, uh, we also have the transponder integrated into the GTN 750 as well as the audio panel. So uh, all of your uh, different components are all controlled through the uh, 750. And then of course you can see we have a King uh, Navcom in there as well, just for a second uh, radio for a localized approaches as well. But uh, overall, very nice installation, very neat. So you can see we still have some steam gauges in there uh, that are either new or overhauled. We did not go with a complete glass panel. But yet, with the Garmin 750, we'll have some enhanced features uh, for modern uh, flying and navigation. So, Sydney, while we uh, had the aircraft down to uh, Muncie getting the radios installed, we uh, 
took care of the uh, seating here, the interior portion of the aircraft while, uh, while the aircraft was away. Uh, I had an opportunity to uh, go ahead and get all the seats taken care of at that time. Now, uh, as you can see here, this is one of the original seats that came out of here, the original pilot seat. It's got the low back, it's got the fixed base on it, and uh, there's the uh, new seat that will be going in there. has the uh, high headrest on it and also has the vertically adjustable base on it. Mm -hmm. And so, Sydney, of course, with the uh, silver uh, exterior of the aircraft, you uh, picked out the uh, gray tones. Uh, so you chose the light and the dark gray mm -hmm. just to give it some uh, contrast there. And uh, we worked with uh, Tom Davis at the Interiors by Thomas, and uh, you and he came up with this uh, scheme here. Yep. How are you uh, liking this so yeah. far? <laughs> it's definitely awesome. Did it turn out pretty good? Yes. You like it? Good. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we had the materials all uh, flame cert, so we have all the uh, documentation for the materials. Uh, we have the uh, uh, leathers uh, here on the seats. You can see the uh, contrasting uh, colors there, the contrasting panels. Uh, you can also see the uh, Piper logo uh, stitched in the headrest. Uh, we decided to go with the Piper logo rather than an N number or your name or anything like that on the headrest, just the Piper logo. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're pretty happy with the way they turned out. Yes, very. Good. And one of the other uh, upgrades that we uh, took advantage of as well is uh, we took the original bench seat out of the back and then put individual bucket seats in the back as well then. So we have uh, four positions in the aircraft, all individual uh, bucket seats with uh, high headrests. Mm -hmm. And uh, then also uh, the uh, vertically adjustable bases for the pilot and co-pilot seats. Uh, those are all refurbished with all brand new components from AVFAB. So our uh, uh, raising and lowering mechanisms are all brand new in there as well. Mm -hmm. we'll uh, one of the things that we'll also address uh, when we put it all back together is uh, retractable uh, harnesses from BAS. So that way we have uh, uh, shoulder harnesses for our front and rear passengers as well. So, Sydney, another uh, project that we uh, decided to accomplish while we have the aircraft apart, we're going to use a uh, material called Soundex, uh, a company out of Mississippi, uh, provided a uh, sound deadening kit. Uh, we have the sheets of the foam uh, show a side view there how thick that material is, and then uh, flip it up there. You can see the foil uh, base on one side, and then over on the other side is the, the black material. And you can see there on the side panels, uh, they send us templates, uh, they send us several sheets of the sound deadening material and then uh, uh, they just give us templates that we use to cut out uh, for the different uh, panels there. You can see the different shapes that go in the uh, side panels there in between the bulkheads, in between the formers and uh, so we're doing this on the side walls, the ceiling and the floor also. So uh, it will provide uh, sound deadening and insulating qualities. But uh, it's another, uh, uh, again, another improvement uh, that we've uh, incorporated while we've got the aircraft all apart. That's it for this episode of the Piper Aero Restoration Project. By the time we have the next video ready, we should have the interior completed and the aircraft will be ready to go to the paint shop.